morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and today's shout-out goes to Diamondback Digger. Diamondback was first to say first to one of my recent videos, and thus wins his shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, with a review of another neat new drone. This is the S123 Beginner's Learn to Fly Drone. <laughs> okay, I just call it that, but it's the S123. Now, why would I be interested in reviewing something like this? This is a very inexpensive drone, first off, folks. Uh, it runs about $34 with free shipping from TomTop.com. But, uh, again, why would I? This is a beginner's drone. Why would I be interested in reviewing? Again, my channel is dedicated to helping beginner flyers enter the hobby, and I think that this drone is... Uh, more than appropriate for beginner fly flyers to learn to fly the or learn to use the basics of flight. Okay, to, to learn the basics of flight with this particular drone. Again, the cost is uh, good, and it is a good drone to learn to fly because it has standard four channel controls of throttle, uh, you, uh, throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. You can learn that with this particular drone. It also does have altitude hold control, which makes it uh, very easy for beginners to learn to fly because you're not messing around with the throttle too much other than making the drone go up or down uh, to a, a steady altitude. It will maintain altitude on its own once you get it to a certain point. Now, uh, other things that this drone has, this, if you notice around each of these propellers, it has a duct, uh, duct propeller guards to protect the propeller when you bounce into objects, especially if you're flying indoors. These come in real handy. So um, this is a good learn to fly indoors drone, if you, especially during the winter months, like right now. <laughs> okay. Other thing about it, these ducts actually light up. So they look really cool at night if you want to fly in the house at night. Um, it, it really looks pretty. In fact, I'll show it to you when we go down to my basement to try it out here. So other things this drone has headless mode control that you can turn on or off which you know with headless mode uh, there is no front and there is no back you know you push forward on the pitch stick and it will go in one direction no matter which way it's pointed and i'll demonstrate that when we go down in the basement it also has one key return now one key return a lot of people think is a return to home mode it is not i'll try to explain that also when we go down in the basement it also has auto takeoff and auto landing capability. You press a button, it will automatically take off and then assume a, a certain altitude. And you press the button, it will automatically land itself too. Um, other things about it, it does have two stunt modes, which includes flips, where you can flip, you know, flip the drone around and do a 360 degree flip, and I'll demonstrate that. Along with spin mode. Now, spin mode looks really cool, especially since this is a lighter drone. And I, I have to show you that too when we get down in the basement. It is controlled through a 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp per hour battery. This is a very common battery, folks, with a white low C connector. You can find replacement batteries for this uh, easily uh, on eBay, on uh, Amazon, uh, um, on all the um, international uh, RC uh, vendors out there. Everybody has this battery, is what I'm trying to say, and they're, they're usually dirt cheap. Uh, the size of this particular battery, if you're wondering, for those who are going to be looking for one, is a um, 62, wait a minute, let me make sure I take my glasses off so I can see better. Yeah, 62.00920. No, that's not correct. It's 85.17.40. So it's 8.5 millimeters or 85 millimeters in length, 17 millimeters in width. width and 4.0 millimeters in fitness, but again, very common. Okay, um, other things about it, uh, this 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp hour battery is supposed to give the drone up to 12 minutes of flight time. Now that I find very hard to believe. We'll find out what the actual flight time is when we go fly it here. Okay, let's go over the controller. Uh, the controller has a, quite a bit of buttons on it, so we're gonna go over each and every one of these buttons. We have an on off switch right there. But this button here in this uh, over lower left corner, this uh, slew of buttons we got here, this button on the top is for automatic takeoff and automatic landing. Quick press and the drone will take off, and a quick press again and the drone will land. Uh, the button to the right of it is for headless mode. You press this, and that activates the headless mode where there is no particular front for the drone. And you push forward on the stick, and it will go in the direction it was pointed when it took off, no matter which way the, the drone is actually pointed. Uh, button on the left here is one key return. You press this button, and we'll fly the exact opposite direction. 
that the drone was pointed when it took off. So if you point it in this direction when it took off and you go fly around, you press that one key return and it's going to fly in the exact opposite direction from what it was pointed to take off. The button down here is for turning the lights on and off. Uh, if you want to save battery power while, during, while in flight, press that button and you can probably get a little more battery power or flight time out of it. We do have an emergency stop button, so if you end up in a bush or a tree and you don't want to burn out those motors, because these are brush motors, I forgot to mention they're brush motors, press that button and that will stop those motors so that they don't burn out. The buttons in the upper right corner here are trim buttons, okay? And I'll explain what trim is when we go fly this. Uh, but this button here will move the, well, if the drone is, let's explain it real quick. If the drone is drifting backward when you take off and, and you're not giving it any backward input, if you repeatedly press this forward button, that should stop that backward drifting. The same way if it's drifting to the right on takeoff, if you press this button here, and there's no wind, you got to do this when there's no wind, it should stop that drifting. Um, each one of these goes in the opposite direction. You want to press the button in the opposite direction that the drone is drifting at takeoff in a, in, without the presence of wind. You don't want to trim up your drone when there's wind because the wind changes as you're flying. So you do that on a windless day or down in your basement like I'm going to do. Now, if this doesn't correct the drifting, you put the drone on a flat level surface turn it on, connect it to the controller, and press the center button, and that will do a full recalibration of the gyros, and that's for extreme cases. Uh, mainly that will come in play. If you do a hard crash into something, sometimes you do need to recalibrate those gyros. Again, you put the drone on a flat level surface, press this button, and that will fix those gyros so that the, it flies more steadily. Other buttons on this, the button up here is for rates. You press this button, it'll either beep twice or three times, and that increases the maximum angle that the drone will tilt. And doing such will increase the speed of the drone. So that's your speed buttons if you want to go faster. Press those buttons there. Uh, the buttons on the right, this is for flips or for stunts. Quick press, and they'll put it into flip mode, and you tell it which direction to flip by this lip, the right button or pitch roll stick button and we'll do such. If you hold this down for about two to three seconds that puts the drone into spin mode where this drone will spin like a top. And again that looks really cool at night especially with the lights. Okay the sun's coming out right now I just noticed it's getting real bright. Let's take this down in the basement. Oh let me I didn't go over what you get in the box. You get the instruction manual, you get the drone, you get its controller. It takes three AAA batteries. AAA as you can see there and you get the uh, battery, one battery with the drill. So now let's take it down in the basement and see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight, flight folks. Good evening, Quadcopter 101 here with the S123 Beginner's Drone. Uh, we're going to fly here inside by the Quadcopter 1 flight test facility uh, to show you how this is a good beginner's drone for indoor flying, especially for indoor flying. Okay, so let's put this on the pad and turn on the drone at the same time by pressing its on-off button here. Look at how it lights up, folks. It looks really cool. <laughs> and we're going to turn on the controller. And I think it automatically connects. Okay, you don't do, need to do the flip up down of the controls like you do with other uh, quadcopters. You normally have to go up and down in the throttle, but this automatically binds. Now let's try that automatic takeoff button, and then we're going to go try the trims. we got to trim this quadcopter up um, to make sure it hovers nicely. So there's an automatic takeoff. Come down a little. Too high. <laughs> okay, let's see which direction it's drifting. Drifting backward and to the left. Backward. So what we can do is forward, pressing the forward trim button until it stops. And the drift to the left is still there. So left, 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 or I mean right, right. I'm sorry, I was pressing the right button. Drifting to the right now. Let's come up a bit higher. And we got pretty good trim. Let's come up a bit more higher. Pretty good trim on this thing. Going to the right a bit because I moved it. <laughs> when my breath too is pushing it. Okay, well we got power on this thing. Let's come down a little bit lower and try the flip button. Flip button and tell it the direction to lift flip. Okay. And trim button, right flip. Trim button, or but flip button, back flip. Flip button, forward flip. 
So that works fine. Let's test it out and bump it into things, namely the wall. Let's bump into the wall. Not too bad. Bump into the wall again. We're flying around and we bump into the wall. So yeah, great beginner's quadcopter. You know, you bump into things, who cares? <laughs> okay, um, other things that this can do. Uh, we did the flips. How about the spin button? It's got a spin button here. Pressing it, holding down the trim button. And if you hit the left, right, or the uh, pitch roll stick, this uh, spin stops. Can we go into headless mode and spin? Let's press the headless mode button, which is, I gotta look on my controller here. It's the button on the bottom. So come back here. Let's try headless mode. Headless mode's on. So pushing forward, that's going to be always forward. This is gonna be always back. Even if we turn the drone, pushing, no. Oh, I pressed the light button. This bottom button is for adjusting the lights. Oh, you get different light modes. Look at that, folks. Off, on, back and, back and forth alternating. <laughs> cool. Come down. It wants to go to the ceiling. You know, be careful, folks, with these drones. If you get close to the ceiling, they get sucked up. And it's alternating light pattern and that pattern there. So I'm looking again, which, let's turn those lights back on again. Okay, I find the headless mode button. Now we were pointed that direction when we took off. So if I activate headless mode, which is activated now, that should be forward direction no matter what. Pulling back, pushing forward. Let's turn to the left and pull back. See, I don't care. So I can spin the drone. Let me go a bit higher. What a bit higher giving it yaw, pushing forward, so we can do one of these deals. How about if I hit that super spin at the same time? No, it comes out and goes right back into headless mode if you turn it off. Let's do that super spin again. A fun little beginner for, beginner's quadcopter. Reasonably priced too. Now let's turn off that and also turn off headless mode. Headless mode is off. Let's try the one key return. Okay, I want to turn it back here. Now remember we were pointed in that direction when we took off. Let's go back over there and then press one key return. One key return. Now it's flying backward. Now what if we turn to the left and press one key return? Still flies backward. But now, what if we were over here by this? Is it going to return to me? No. So be careful, folks. Let's do that again, demonstrate that. One key return, no, nah, it's not flying back toward me. So all one key return does, folks, is it flies the exact opposite direction that the drone was pointed at when it took off. And remember, we were pointed in that direction, and I'm flying over in that direction. I press one key return, and obviously it comes right back to me. Now. Um, let's talk about it as this as a beginner's learn to fly quadcopter. It does have automatic altitude control, altitude control, let's, and as such, you can practice takeoffs and landings. Pretty easy to do, actually. And let's see if we can start it by both sticks down and out, like other drones. No, to get this into the air, how about up and down? No, you got to hit that automatic takeoff button to get back into the air. Now again, be careful going up too high. Give it, you know, if it, when it gets too close to the ceiling, bring down the throttle. Okay, lower the throttle. But we can practice takeoffs and landings with this, going from pad to pad. Again, it's good beginner's practices. Just <laughs> see what happens. Let's go up into the ceiling and try that. See what happens when we hit the ceiling. So it'll suck itself up into the ceiling. So when you get close, so don't get too close to the ceiling. But again, this thing is great because. It don't care, it's got those protective rings around it. Let's bounce into the post. See, it don't care. Now if I go real fast, I'll obviously it'll probably care. <laughs> but if you're flying as a beginner in beginner speed, no, nah, it's fine. Let's practice another landing. There we go, automatic takeoff. Whoa, went right to the ceiling. <laughs> okay, um, I wanna go back and try the lights. What if I put it in super spin while the lights are like that? No, it's super spin's got its own light pattern on and off. 
<laughs> I like this thing. Fun indoor toy, beginner's quadcopter, highly appropriate for learning to fly with, learning the basics of the controls, very appropriate, and reasonably priced too at the same time. Turning off the super spin. Now notice its lights are blinking and rapidly blinking, and that's its battery power, so that's its flight time you get out of that battery. Again, uh, very common battery, you can get extra batteries online. So, hope you enjoyed this flight of the S123. Um, good beginners quadcopter, especially for the price. So, this quadcopter 101, hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.